We are topping off our water tanks. Epiphany holds 70 gallons of water. That's a minimum of 35 days cruising for me and Gordon. Gallon a day per person for consumption. Not for washing or doing dishes or anything else. So, when this tank is full, which she, she's full. And it's got a transfer hose to the other tank. So now both tanks are full. So let's put the top on that. And close it up. It's a little tricky to get the threads to line up. There we go. Clean up our mess. We also keep a couple pieces of uh, thin plywood under this bunk. Uh, it's for emergency use. Should we have an incident and get a hole in the hall, we can always get the screw gun out and do an emergency patch. Stop the bulk of the water coming in. And then put the cushion back in place. She is full. So the next step is redundancy. We're going to be cruising around the world. We don't know where we can get water. Our first layer of redundancy should a hose blow and we forgot to turn the uh, water pump off and we were up on deck and it pumps all the water into the bilge, which has actually happened to me. So it is best practice to always keep the water switch turned off when not using. Prevent that from happening again. But our first layer of redundancy is going to be storing six six gallon jugs of water on deck. And that's why we put up these storage rails. Don't they look good? And we've got three jugs filled already. Now for long term water storage, it's recommended that you put a little bleach in them. This is city water, so it's good water to start with, but it could be up here for six months. So to keep it fresh, keep it bacteria free, we've just got some normal household bleach and I've never been real big on measuring. It's supposed to be like eight drops per gallon. There's six gallons there. So let's just give it a splash. Give it a splash. Give it a splash and being in storage, this bleach will burn off and keep that water fresh. It's going to be sealed. So let's seal them up. And the last step in our backup water supply is to cover the cans. We sewed up these umbrella covers. You can see we got them on our fuel cans up there also. And this protects the cans from UV rays, which will crack the plastic with time. So these just kind of slide down over the cans. And like I said, this is this umbrella material. It's 100% UV protected. And it'll protect the cans from the sun. We have a buddy, Dave, who's uh, halfway around the world, 13,000 nautical miles. He set out last season. He's a year ahead of us. And Two of his water cans have already split, so we're protecting all of our plastic cans with umbrella shields that we sew up. And uh, now we got three more cans to fill to put in this gap here, lash them to the rails. Still got room to walk by to tend to the sails. And now we've got another six times six is 36 divided by two is. 18 days of water at bare survival minimum. So this is how we do it.